China is drinking again. After several years of declining revenues for liquor companies in China, sales of spirits and wine are climbing despite slower economic growth. But why? First, the reasons people buy wine are changing. There was a time when Chinese reserved liquor for gift giving and lavish banquets. People bought ornamental $500 bottles of Bordeaux and cognac, and they just sat on the shelf. But that's over. The government banned official spending on pricey liquor, and now people are buying bottles to actually drink. And there are more places to buy foreign spirits and wine. Before, grocery stores had a limited selection. E-commerce sales weren't fast. Now, younger consumers are heading to cocktail bars and are snapping up wine deals online. Finally, some prices are coming down. Companies like Treasury Wine are slashing prices to make products more affordable. And China is signing free trade agreements with countries to cut import taxes. But economists also say that more drinking reflects a weakening Chinese economy. When times got tough in the U.S. from 2007 to 2009, Americans hit the bottle. And now, it looks like Chinese consumers are doing the same.